The following video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Instruction given during the course of this video is not to be construed as medical advice. A swimming pool lies unused on the coldest day of the year in Port Aransas, Texas, but not for long. There's no turning back! Epic failure or heroic move toward health? You'll find out in this next episode of Reality of Health. So today we're going to explore how you can actually increase levels of something called natural killer cells in your circulation. Why do we want to increase levels of natural killer cells? Well here's one reason. It's winter time and as you know something comes around every November to uh, mid-March and that is the influenza virus. Studies have found the natural killer cells are able to mount a first line of defense against these potentially deadly foes. And so we're going to boost our natural killer cells today and in a kind of dramatic way. You don't always have to go to this extreme to do it. There are some other things that you can do uh, such as uh, just going to sleep on time, getting melatonin uh, secretion in a proper amount, sleeping in total darkness to optimize melatonin secretion, um, eating healthfully, a uh, number of other things. If you really want to get in depth on this subject, watch my whole video called Viral Wellness Worth Sharing Part 2. That's Viral Part 2. It's on YouTube, so please check it out. Now, for the fun part, studies have found that pre-treatment with exercise and then going into the next activity we're going to do is really going to help with our natural killer cell levels. So let's actually do this together. Let's hit the streets for a run. I've got my ASICs on and I got some warm clothes. It's about 40 degrees, maybe a little bit cooler today. And we're going to get some calories burned and we're going to heat up our body's temperature. That's crucial for the next step. So let's go ahead. Let's head out. Here we go. And I think we're going to probably try to run about a mile and a half to two miles. That should be a good amount of time to get us thoroughly warmed. Okay, I'll meet you back at the house in about 15 minutes. Okay, we're almost back home. Stay tuned because what you're about to see may be shocking to you. I know it will be to me. Okay, here's some more witnesses. But yes, it is cold out here, isn't it? Yes. Everyone can tell you it is cold. I'm not making this up. It's so cold that even the geckos are frozen. you. Okay, so there's a reason why also we've got to do this first when it's not just because I haven't taken a shower today. Just in case we didn't get enough warmth with our two mile run, we're also going to allow some of the warmth from this shower to continue to warm us and also it just feels nice. It's also a good thing to have your heart rate going down a little bit right after exercise before you endeavor to take on what we're about to take on together. I think we've got enough supplementary warmth here. Now we're going to have to make our way over to the frigid waters of the outdoor swimming pool in December. So here we go. There it is. Yes, it is as cold as it looks. Here we go. Ready, steady. There's no dirty back. It is that cold. <laughs> you know what? Next time you might see me doing something outlandish. Realize it may not be for the sake of thrill. It may be the reality of health.
Until next time, be healthy.